Nikola Tesla, the genius they tried to erase. They called him mad. They called him dangerous. And for over a century, the world tried to erase his name. But Nikola Tesla wasn't just an inventor. He was the inventor, the man who dreamed of a world powered by free energy. And for that dream, powerful men decided he had to disappear. This is the story they never wanted you to hear. The story of the genius who built the future and lost everything trying to give it away. The boy born in lightning. He was born in a storm. Literally. The midwife said the lightning meant bad luck. His mother said no. He will be a child of light. She was right. Nikola Tesla was born in 1856 in the small village of Smiljan in what is now Croatia. His father was a priest. His mother, though never formally educated, was a natural inventor who built tools and machines by hand. It was from her that Tesla inherited his restless mind and his gift for creation. Even as a child, Tesla saw what others couldn't. He described seeing blinding flashes of light, detailed visions of inventions spinning and working inside his head. He could take them apart and rebuild them all in his imagination. To most, that sounded insane. To Tesla, it was how the universe spoke. When he nearly died from cholera at 17, he made a promise. If he survived, he would dedicate his life to science. He recovered, and he kept that promise. The dream that crossed an ocean. Tesla wanted to change the world. But to do that, he needed to reach the one place where inventions could become reality, America. He arrived in New York City in 1884 with just a few cents, a head full of ideas, and one letter of recommendation addressed to Thomas Edison. Edison was the king of electricity, famous, powerful, the wizard of Menlo Park. Tesla admired him, and at first, Edison hired him. But admiration quickly turned into rivalry. Here's the twist. Tesla's ideas were too radical, even for Edison. When Tesla proposed a new kind of current, alternating current, or AC, Edison laughed. Edison's empire ran on direct current DC, expensive, inefficient, and short-ranged. Tesla's AC could travel miles, powering entire cities. Edison refused to accept it. The War of the Currents What began as a disagreement became a war. Edison launched a full-scale propaganda campaign. He electrocuted animals in public to prove AC was dangerous. He even helped invent the electric chair, hoping the horror would turn the public against Tesla's current. But truth has a way of shining through. In 1893, Tesla's AC system powered the Chicago World's Fair, lighting up more than 100,000 bulbs. Tesla had won the War of the Currents, but victory came with a cost. While Edison's name became legend, Tesla's fortune and his credit began to fade. Still, Tesla wasn't chasing fame. He was chasing a vision no one else could see. The vision of free energy. While others wanted to sell power, Tesla wanted to set it free. He believed the Earth itself was an enormous battery, capable of transmitting energy wirelessly across the globe. He began building his masterpiece, Wardenclyffe Tower, on Long Island, a structure meant to beam electricity through the atmosphere. No wires, no meters, no bills, Tesla wasn't trying to get rich, he was trying to change humanity. But that was precisely the problem. His main investor, J.P. Morgan, realized there would be no way to charge for Tesla's dream. He famously asked, if anyone can draw on the power for free, where do we put the meter? That single question killed the dream. Funding stopped. Wardenclyffe Tower was abandoned. The world wasn't ready for free energy, and those in power made sure it stayed that way. Tesla's greatest invention became his greatest downfall. It was the first time the world began to turn its back on him. The forgotten genius. From visionary to recluse, that was Tesla's descent. He moved from hotel to hotel in New York City, always experimenting, always dreaming. He spoke of inventions that sounded impossible, death rays, anti-gravity engines, wireless power across continents. People whispered that he had gone mad, but look around today and you'll see he was right. He described Wi-Fi before radio even existed. Tesla wasn't delusional. He was decades ahead, and that's what frightened the world most. The day the genius died, January 7th, 1943. Nikola Tesla was found dead in room 3327 of the New Yorker Hotel. He was 86 years old, penniless, alone and ignored. But the story doesn't end there. Within hours of his death, the FBI raided his room. They seized boxes of notes, drawings, and blueprints, all labeled top secret. They never released them. What were they hiding? Some say Tesla had developed a death ray powerful enough to end wars. 
Others believe he had perfected wireless energy systems that could give free power to the world. The truth? No one knows, because those documents, his final discoveries, vanished. The man who gave us modern power grids died without a dime, and the world that owed him everything forgot him. The Legacy Reborn But legends don't stay buried. Decades after his death, Tesla's name began to rise again. Scientists revisited his patents, historians unearthed his experiments, and people realized how deeply his ideas shaped the modern world. Alternating current still powers every home, wireless communication is built on his principles, and the dream of sustainable free energy, still alive, carried by those who believe in his vision. Tesla once said, The present is theirs. The future for which I really worked is mine. He was right. Every electric car bearing his name. Every clean energy innovation, every person who dares to dream beyond profit, continues his mission. The Prophecy of Tesla Nikola Tesla wasn't just a scientist. He was a prophet of energy, of technology, of truth. He warned what happens when greed controls progress. He showed how one idea can outlive the men who tried to bury it. And he proved that true genius isn't about recognition, it's about revolution. They tried to erase him. But every spark of electricity, every wireless signal, every innovation that connects the world whispers his name. Nikola Tesla, the man who built the future, the genius they tried to erase. So tell me, do you believe his greatest inventions were lost or hidden? Share your thoughts in the comments, because this isn't the end of the story. It's the beginning of a new one. If this opened your eyes, like, share, and subscribe, because here on Legends Start Here, we tell the stories the world tried to erase.